So, I hear you want to rent your Nexus 4. You're in the right place. Go ahead and power off your device, and then as soon as you feel a vibration, go ahead and click down on the volume rocker. What this is going to do is put you into the fast beat mode. Now, if you do miss the vibration, then go ahead and just press down and power and hold, and then you'll boot up into the fast beat mode. Now take a USB cable and connect your device to your computer. Now go to the link in the description and download the latest Woogfresh toolkit. Once you have set up all the software and installed the drivers, what you're going to want to do is click on unlock. Now basically this is going to delete all of your user data and it's going to unlock the bootloader of your device so that we can root it. Now before you do this, I do highly recommend making a backup of all of your pictures, videos, and other important things that you may want before you do this to your device. Soon your phone is going to ask you to pretty much unlock the bootloader and as you can see right here it's going to ask you go ahead and click up on the volume rocker and then hit power and that's going to wipe all your data and it's going to unlock the bootloader of your device. So now you can rate your phone and we'll be on to our next step. Just let your phone reboot, let it do its thing and yeah just get past the startup screen and you're good to go and then now we can root your device. Now go back into fast boot mode and then plug in your device. Now go into the description of this video and then download the file named root nexus 4. Go ahead and unzip it and extract it to your desktop. Now basically what you're going to want to do is now open up a command prompt. First type in cd desktop, then type in cd root nexus 4. Now go ahead and type fastboot flash recovery recovery and then hit tab on your keyboard. Then press enter. Now plug in your phone once again and then take the supersu.zip and then drag it over to your Nexus 4 internal storage. Once you have that file into the Nexus 4 internal storage, we're now going to go into the custom recovery that we just recently flashed and then we're going to pretty much root our device. Back into Fastboot. Now click up on the volume rocker two times and then click power and it's going to bring you into your recovery mode. And once you're into your recovery mode, that is where we are going to root our phone. Alright, so now we're in a custom recovery. Go ahead and click on install zip from SD card. Then click on choose zip from SD card. Then click on O. And then look down and then you'll see your CWM superuser.zip. Go ahead and install that. And you've basically just rooted your phone. Click go back. Then go to factory reset. Delete all user data just to make sure. And then click on reboot. Click back and then click no, and then there you go, your phone is going to reboot, you're all set, your phone is rooted, here we go. Congratulations, your Nexus 4 is rooted, go into your after and you'll see SuperSU right there. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, this is probably just an awesome moment for you and your life. So as you can see, our little Android guy is going crazy, just total Nexus 4 awesomeness, you just rooted your phone, you are a pro. So guys, thanks for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all later.